Good morning friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky and on my channel I am going through a good midlife crisis. I've been journeying through my 40s trying really hard to get my poop in a group. To do this I have been working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health and today's video is going to be a financial health check-in. Today is Friday the 11th of November and I did get paid and so I am going to be budgeting out my next week's worth of expenses um, slash filling up some of the monthly expenses because it is the first paycheck of the month for me. So it is 7.20. I have to go get ready for work in just a little bit. So I'm going to get right into this and shrink me down into the corner. How are y'all doing? Happy Friday. Do you have anything fun going on this weekend? I uh, My friend's coming up tomorrow. Um, but then I think that's it. I think that's really all I have going on. And I'm looking forward to another more relaxed weekend. So as you can see... I have a little bit of overspending from last week. I did decide to just leave that and cover that with this week's money instead of um, covering it from my other categories. It was just a choice I made. Um, so what I'm going to do is start by covering my overspending. I'm going to cover last week's overspending in my dining out and I'm going to do that by adding my full amount which I give myself $50 a week for dining out. So that leaves me just under $40 for this week because I went over last week. Um, I'm going to give myself my full grocery budget. And since I'm over, I only get $50 to go grocery shopping this week. And fun money, I'm actually doing okay. I get my $10. I forgot to put gas money in here for this check. Normally on check days, I give myself gas money, but I did just fill up and I have like three quarters of a tank of gas and I should be okay. I am going to be traveling Thanksgiving weekend, but I get paid again before that. So I should be okay until then. Um, if not, I can cover it with other, I pull it from somewhere else, but I'm not going to put anything in gas. I'm going to see if I can make that work. Um, the only other thing I have in here is my self care, which gets its monthly or paycheckly. I think it's, I think it's, it's a paycheck. I give myself $25 and that is building up nicely so I can get a pedicure with my friends next month for Jen's birthday. Um, the that's it for this category. These are all of my weekly expenses. These are my my wallet. This is what I would have like in my purse if I were carrying cash. So I still have $233.12 in this section to spend. And then I have bills this month, this week. I always say month instead of week. So I have OneDrive comes out on the 15th, and that is $7.57, so I need to put that in there. Planet Fitness comes out on the 17th, and that is $27.11, and this check has to go from today the 11th through Friday through Thursday the 17th, so I do have to cover these two bills. I also have, and I don't know that I have it in here, I don't, I don't have a category for it, but I have Cedar Park. Um, which is where I had my endoscopy. They are going to be charging me $51.18 on the 15th. So I need to put that into my medical because that's where I pull it from. Um, also, speaking of medical, I'm going to go back and cover last month's overspending. This $440.84, I'm going to put that... Um, well, 44084. Just remember that number. The number that I have to um to put into my medical expenses. So I, I plan my budget out on my budget mom budget by paycheck workbook. And um I do film these. So this I will link this in the uh, description in the card. It's up in that corner over there. I can't reach it because from where my face is, but it's gonna be over in the other corner. Um I fill my surprise expenses. These are the annual expenses that come up or the monthly expenses that come up that you need to plan for but aren't necessarily a part of your everyday budget. They're not monthly bills most of the time. Um, so healthcare is my FS, I'm sorry, my HSA. I'm not putting anything in there. But my medical expenses, I did just put that 51 in there and I have budgeted an additional $500. So I'm going to add $500 in there and that'll cover my overspending that I did last month so I can pay that card. And um, that should cover the upcoming expenses that I have for that account. So hopefully, hopefully that will help me. Um, car maintenance is getting its monthly $50. 
gifts and giving, I, I am not, am I? I'm not doing out of this check. I need to, um, but I'm not going to. And then what else do I have? Vacation is going to get $50. I give myself $50 a month toward that. Pet expenses gets $50 a month. This is so not in order. I did not do this in order at all, y'all. I am sorry. Pet expenses. Where are my pet expenses? Those are my pet emergencies. Where are my pet expenses? Speaking of pets, I hear my cat. He wants in. So. I'm a little tired still. Sorry. Did I delete my pet expenses? Like, seriously, where are they? Oh, they're up here. Why do I have them in a different section? Okay, so now I have enough money to buy dog food this month. And then I am going to put additional money into my holiday giving. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I had a projected budget that I wanted to do. And I don't know who I thought I was. I don't know who I thought was going to be spending this money. But it's not Becky. Because Becky buys gifts. Um... So let me find my holiday giving. Why can't I find anything? There it is. I feel like everything's moved from where it's supposed to be. I need to go in here and rearrange. Um, so I'm going to put an additional $200 in this category because I do have some shopping to do. And uh, then I have my 52 week savings challenge where I put $53 every paycheck. This is where you save the dollar amount of whatever week it is. So I am doing this backwards and forwards. I started with the first week of the year I did week one and week 52. So that was $53. Second paycheck of the year I did week two and week 52. I'm sorry, 51. And that was $53. It's $53 every paycheck. Um, and that way it works out because if I had done this for the weeks of the year right now, I don't know what week number we're on. I don't know if you can tell what week number we're on. I don't know how that works. But anyway, it's towards the end of the year. So it's going to be like up in the 30s, 40s, and I'd have to do two a week. So it'd be like $60, $70 a paycheck if I were trying to save two weeks. And now at least it's $53 and I don't have to come up with all that money at once. Um, and then every month I put $20 away toward potential taxes that I may owe at the end of the year. And then I just started for my great nephew that was born just on Halloween. So 12 days ago now. I am going to be saving a dollar a week for his age. And since he is under the age of one, I'm just going to save a dollar a week for him. And so he is now two weeks old. So I'm going to be putting $2 into my baby Joe fund. And this is just going to sit here until he is 18. Um, that is my ultimate plan. We shall see how that goes. And did I do ecclesial expenses? You know, I feel like I'm just all over the place this morning, so I am so sorry. I did not. So ecclesial expenses, and that is, yep, I am right where I am about $10 up, but that's because I had more rollover than I anticipated, so we're good. This is everything, short, sweet, to the point, and we are budgeted for the next week. I have my dining out category, my groceries, my fun money. I can go buy some pet things. I can do my church donation. I can pay my bills. And so what I'm going to do with this $599.70 that's left, ignore this, ignore this, just ignore that. <laughs> what I'm going to do with that $599 that's left is I'm going to move that down here into week three, and then I'm going to hide this. So next week on Friday morning when you see me, I will uh, come back. I will move this up to the to be budgeted, and we will spread this out for that for that week's budget. Okay, so y'all, you'll know that last week I was talking about booking a cruise. I talked about it Friday morning. Saturday morning, I booked a cruise. I have a no interest financing going on with this, and half of this is mine and half of this is my friend's that's going with me. So I, um, this is not all me. But I also have a refund coming for some of this because I decided 
And if you've ever gone on a cruise, let me know. But I decided I'm doing a princess cruise and I was doing everything individually, like the drinks in the room and the gratuities and the taxes and everything. But if you upgrade to the Princess Press Plus, it was like a much, much better deal. So I ended up canceling all of the prepaid stuff that I had done and um, going and doing Princess Plus. So this is going to be refunded. And then when I pay the balance of my cruise in December, it will it will be the difference. Um, but it's all going to be interest free. So I'll have nine months to pay it off. And I'm very excited about that. Um, so this will be back down to two hundred dollars. So like it's showing here. That's what this gray is. It's saying I have negative $657.74 in here right now, but I have a positive amount of $457.74 anticipated to be refunded to this. So um, that's because I canceled the drinks packages and the gratuities and all that stuff. So that's all going to be coming back to me. Okay. I'm going to leave this here because I actually have a doctor's appointment this morning. Um, I'm going to be doing some something where you breathe into a machine and it's supposed to be able to tell you how many calories you're burning and how many macro and micronutrients and how much of all the different i don't know i don't know it sounds magical i'm supposed to go do that at my nutritionist's office this morning and i have to be there in like 45 minutes so i probably need to get ready to head out and then i have to go to work after that so i hope y'all are having a fantastic day please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out if you did enjoy it and if you haven't yet and you would like to please go ahead and consider subscribing i would love to have you join me i hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are and i will talk to you later bye